Hello and welcome to the lesson on vectors. Let's go straight to the question. It reads, uh, the figure below shows the triangle OPQ in which OP is equals to P, OQ is equals to Q. M and N are points on OQ and OP respectively such that uh, ratio ON and P is equals to 1 is to 3. And ratio OMMQ is equals to 2 is to 1. Uh, the diagram is given there. Uh, before we go to the questions, let us uh, put the ratios in the direction. So we're given vector OP. OP is that. Direction is very important. I can put the direction that is uh, P. Then OQ, the direction is given this way. So that is OQ. Then the ratio uh, ON and P. Uh, 1 is to 3, that is what it is, OMMQ is 2 is to 1. So having done that, let's go to the question. The first one is uh, express the following vectors in terms of P and Q. PM. So to get PM, um, we need to identify the direction. So we need to stand at P and find the best route uh, that will take us to M. So that is very important. In vectors, it is all about direction. So uh, the route you're going to take from P to M is PM, uh, is PO, sorry, is PO, so PO plus OM. So we first move from P to O, then from O to M. So P to O, you can see we are moving in uh, an opposite direction, the direction of the arrow, that is why I indicated the direction. So PO, since you are moving in the opposite direction, uh, since you are given vector OP is P, that one will be negative P. B, negative P. Then plus OM, look at the ratio in which M divides uh, OQ, 2 is to 1. So therefore OM will be 2 thirds of that line Q. You can write it like that or you can just uh, put it like this same thing, 2 over 3 Q minus p so that is how we get vector pm now let's go to qn vector qn so the second one vector qn so qn we find the direction you're going to take from q to n so i'll first move from q to o q to o then um, o to n So that is the direction O to N. So Q to O, as you can see the direction, we are moving from Q to O, we are moving in the opposite direction. Since uh, we are given vector OQ as Q, so QO will be negative Q, be negative Q, plus ON, look at ON, ON is a fraction of that line, line OP, and N divides line OP in the ratio 1 is to 3. Therefore, uh, ON will be 1 over 4, a quarter P. So you can just leave it like that, or you can write it as 1 over 4 P minus Q. So that is um, how we get uh, QN. Now we go to PQ. So PQ, we want to move from P to Q. So the route I'm going to follow is uh, PO, P to O, then from O to Q. P to O, so P to O, then from O to Q. That is the direction. Now PO, we have already obtained PO in the first part. PO is negative P. Then OQ is already given in the question. It is direct. O to Q is Q. So you can write it like that or just write it as a Q minus P. So that is um, how you're supposed to tackle those three parts. So let's go to the second part of the question. Line PM and QN intersect at X such that PX is equals to HPM and QX is equals to KQN. Express OX in two different ways and hence find the values of KH and K. 
So we require to express OX in two different ways. Um, and hence we find the values of scalars H and K. Now, looking at the diagram here, uh, we need to <clears throat> we need to look at it. Look at those lines, uh, OX, those two lines that are intersecting. That is PM and um, this PM and uh, QN. So to express uh, OX in two ways and uh, finding the values of H and K, we'd be required to, in each of those ways that you're going to use, uh, one of the way we must use uh, PX, where we have uh, this scalar H, and in the other way that you're going to express, we should have QX. So the first way we can express uh, OX, vector OX, by ensuring that we're using either one of these, either Px or Qx. So I'll start by expressing um, Ox by using Px. So Ox, let's go to the diagram. So Ox, and I must use uh, Px. So the route I should follow in order to use uh, Px is Op plus Px. Op plus Px. So Op plus Px. So that is um, the first way, and you can see I have utilized Px. So OP uh, is P. Then Px is given by scalar H, Pm. Uh, then we can finish this up. So P plus H. Now Pm, we had obtained um, Pm in the first uh, part of the question. Pm is 2 third Q minus, these are 2 third Q minus P, 2 thirds Q minus P. So that is the first way. So we open the brackets, so we have uh, P plus 2 thirds uh, HQ minus HP. So that is the first way. Now the second way. Of expressing the same is by ensuring that we use now QX and when you go to the diagram uh, the only way I can utilize QX while finding OX is by following this root O to Q then Q to X O to Q so O to Q then Q to X so that is uh, how you're supposed to do it. OQ is given by vector Q. Then QX is here, is given here as uh, KQN, scalar KQN. And then uh, <coughs> from there, mm, sorry, so we have uh, Q plus K, then vector QN, we had obtained these. That is why you need to be very keen when you are starting uh, to solve the question. The first part is always very important because you can see you are using the first uh, solutions uh, in the next part of the question, which is part 4. So in case you made um, maybe an error in obtaining these uh, QN and PM, then it means uh, you transfer the same error to the other question. So... Qn is a quarter p minus q, a quarter p, a quarter p minus q. So opening the brackets, opening the brackets, so we get q plus a quarter kp minus kq. So that is the second way. Now you have two ways. You have expressed now uh, OX in two ways. That is what you've done. Now we need to find the values of H and K, the vectors H and K. Now since uh, both of them are expressing the same thing, then we should equate uh, the first expression, which is P plus 2 over 3. P 
plus 2 over 3 hq minus hp this one should give now that is the first expression equity to the second expression which is uh, q plus a quarter kp minus kq so you expressing the same um, you are equating the two equations since they are expressing the same thing so from there we can now identify instances where we have vector p vector p is there and equating it to the right hand side where we have uh, the vector p so i pick here we have p minus hp this is these are the values where that contain vector p that you are picking from the left hand side and equating uh, to the values where we have vector p on the right hand side so a quarter k p then um, from here divide all everything by vector p when you divide everything by vector p and uh, this is how you do it so divide this by p by p divide this one by p you will get 1 minus uh, h is equals to a quarter k these are uh, you can multiply to remove this uh, fraction these are uh, uh, 4 we multiply everything by 4 you get 4 minus 4h four is equals to k write this one as equation one since we shall use this one to solve then uh, the second thing now is um, identifying instances where we have vector q uh, on the left hand side we have two thirds hq then uh, the right hand side we have these two so pick them so two thirds so two thirds hq that is where we have left hand side where we have vector q then right hand side you have q minus kq q minus k q the two i have highlighted there so dividing everything by q you get two thirds h is equals to one minus uh, k so we have divided all the values by by q then uh, to remove this uh, denominator here 3 multiply all the values by 3 you get 2h is equals to 3 minus 3k these are the, the second equation now pick the first equation these are 4 minus 4h 4 minus 4h and uh, is equals to k this is uh, equation 1 and now we can solve these uh, simultaneously and get the values of h and k so uh, we can use substitution using equation one if k is equals to 4 minus uh, 4h then we can substitute the first uh, the second equation that is the one that is at the top 2h is equals to 3 minus 3 k from the from equation one here is a uh, four minus four h so this gives a uh, two h is equals to three minus twelve plus this is a uh, twelve h um we are now in position to get if you take uh, twelve h the other side you get negative ten h is equals to negative nine and therefore h is given by 9 over over 10 so that is uh, h so k k is equals to k is equals to from this equation 1 4 minus 4 h 4 minus 4 h so k will be given by 4 minus 4 then h is 9 over 10 so this gives um, 4 minus this by 2 2 by 2 5 this will give uh, 18 18 over 
5. And this gives, um, if you work out this, uh, you get k is given by 2 over 5. So k is equals to 2 over 5. So we've now uh, obtained the values of h and k. So values of h and k are obtained. So let's go to the other part of the question. OX produced meat uh, PQ at Y such that PY ratio YQ is equals to 3 is to 2. Using the ratio theorem or otherwise, find OY in terms of P and Q, two marks. So let's go to the diagram and see uh, PY, YQ, PY, YQ. So PY, YQ. So the diagram is here. So PY, YQ. Uh, this one is given as uh, the ratio here is 3 is to 2. So you're required to get, um, you're supposed to get, um, this is, uh, which value is this? Eh? OI. Supposed to get, uh, find OI. OI. Using the ratio theorem or otherwise. So you can use the ratio theorem or any other method. So I'll use, um, another one not the ratio theorem so oy will be given by op plus py so i want to move from o to y so the route i'm going to follow the direction is op py from o to p then p to y op py so that is what i'm going to use so op so oy is equals to op plus py op is given by p then py now look at this now py since the ratio is a 3 to 2 so when you look at that uh, division so py will be given by 3 over 5 pq 3 over 5 pq so plus 3 over 5 pq so p plus 3 over 5 then pq will be given by q minus p and these uh, gives uh, p plus 3 over 5 q minus 3 over 5 p when you work out these um you get uh, 2 over 5p plus 3 over 5q. So that is how you get it. Now for this part of pq, uh, pq, we had obtained pq, we had obtained pq here, q minus p. That is why I have obtained that. So that is how you're supposed to work out the whole of that question on vectors. So you can follow. You can follow and see now how I have done it, all the parts. And the second part seems to be the longest, as uh, more workings than the others. So that is how you're supposed to work out that question on vectors. So thank you so much.